The second layer is stratosphere layer. Stratosphere also it is called the ozonic atmospheric envelope. This is because it contains ozone layer. Its thickness. The thickness of stratosphere layer is 37 kilometer. Temperature at stratosphere layer. As you can see, the temperature increases gradually from negative 60 at its beginning till it reaches zero at its end. Temperature at stratosphere increases from negative 60 degrees Celsius to zero degrees Celsius at its end or at, or at stratopause. This is due to the absorption of ultraviolet rays by ozone layer. Absorption of ultraviolet rays increases the temperature of this layer. Atmospheric pressure. Also by increasing the height, atmospheric pressure decreases until it reaches one millibar only at its end at stratopause or which is equivalent to 0 0.001 of the normal atmospheric pressure because if you divided 1 by the normal atmospheric pressure which is equal to 1013.25 you will get approximately 0 0.001 of the normal atmospheric pressure stratosphere contains most of ozone gas which is found in atmospheric envelope between heights from 20 km to 40 km. Air movement. Air is moved horizontally in this layer. So its lower part doesn't contain clouds or weather changes. So pilots prefer to fly their planes in this layer. The third layer is mesosphere. It is called mesosphere because it is the middle layer and also the coldest layer. The thickness of this layer is 35 km. Temperature at this layer. As you can see, the temperature at this layer decreases gradually. The temperature starts at zero at its beginning then decreases gradually until it reaches negative 90 at its end at mesopause so its temperature reaches negative 90 degrees celsius at its end at mesopause atmospheric pressure its atmospheric pressure decreases by increasing the height gradually until it reaches only 0 0.01 millibar at its end at meso pose. It contains limited quantities of helium and hydrogen gases only, so it is much vacuumed or highly rarefied, almost empty. So, luminous methods are formed in such layer. This is due to its friction with air molecules, as you can see. All luminous matters are formed in mesosphere layer due to friction with air molecules. The fourth layer is thermosphere layer. Thermosphere layers is called by this name because it is the hottest layer of atmospheric envelope. The thickness of thermosphere layer is 590 km. Temperature at this layer increases gradually from negative 90 up to 1200 degrees Celsius at its end. It contains charged ions in its upper part. So this part, because it contains ions, is known as ionosphere. Ionosphere layer. What's meant by ionosphere layer? It is a layer that contains charged ions and it has an important role in wireless communications. As you can see from this video, this is the ionosphere layer. It reflects 
the wireless communications. So it plays an important role in telecommunications and wireless communications. Give reason four. Ionosphere is very important in wireless communications. This is because it reflects radio waves transmitted by radio stations and communication centers. Van Allen belts, as you can see from this video, they are two magnetic belts surrounding ionosphere and they play an important role in scattering of harmful charged cosmic radiations. Give reason for the harmful charged cosmic radiations are scattered away from the Earth before entering ionosphere. This is due to the presence of Van Allen belts. Aurora phenomenon. It is a phenomenon that appears as a brightly colored light curtains seen from both poles, the north and south poles of the earth. This bright color curtains represent aurora. Exosphere. It is a region in which the atmospheric envelope, the final layer, is inserted with the outer space to the final layer which is attached to the outer space. In exosphere, satellites orbit around the Earth with cameras and telescopes. So the layer that contains satellites is called exosphere. Tropopause. It is a region between troposphere and stratosphere. Stratopause. It is the region between stratosphere and mesosphere. Finally, mesopause. It is the region between mesosphere and thermosphere. This is the end of lesson one. Thanks for watching.